Tim, uh, thanks for calling back. Much appreciated. So how can I help you with regard to Perigee and or Apogee out there? I just have a note from when you mentioned the only astrological thing that you thought was of any particular significance in your research was the apogee and perigee of the moon, and I think that that's happening tomorrow. Per perigee, will happen, be... per perigee will happen on Friday morning at uh, Friday 4. Morning. I'll give the exact time, but it'll happen at 4 o'clock in the morning, exactly at 4.21 a.m. At the time you mentioned it, you didn't actually say what direction or what, how it actually played into your your thinking, and I wonder if you might be willing to elaborate on that now. Sure. So what you'd want to do at 421 or whenever it is you get up, you'd want to go to the ES Mini chart. Uh, do you do you trade the ES Mini or do you at least have access to it? Unfortunately, no. Okay. Uh, at the moment, I'm not. That's one thing I'm trying to get access to. Okay, so if you if you when when you have access to it, um, uh, let's assume that you've got it by uh, uh, Friday. Um, what you would do is you would go right to the exact price at 4:21 in the morning on Friday, and you would see what the ES Mini is trading at. And whatever that price is, and I would let a, a little bit of time pass by, maybe 30 minutes or an hour. But if the ES Mini trades above that line, it tells you not to be short the market. The only way you would get short the ES Mini would to be would be to see some type of topping pattern complete. Maybe it's an A to B equals C D. Maybe it's my favorite RMI signals out there. It has to be something that would tell you that you're trying to time the market and sell a top tick. Uh, but otherwise, the message would be clear. If price is above the perigee or apogee pivot point, in this case here, it would be perigee. It tells you on a short-term basis to be long the market. Just the opposite is true. If price is trading below it, it's telling you not to be long. Now, this is going to be more for shorter-term duration type trading out there. It's not something I would use necessarily if I were uh, – it wouldn't be what I would use to manage my uh, intermediate and long-term portfolio. So I just want to be really clear about that. I did say of all of the aspects that I have looked at, full moons, new moons, the node on zero, you name it um, – you know, things being uh, just uh, planetary aspects, Pesavento index dates, all of them. The one thing that had the most consistency, I just want to make sure I use that word. The one thing that had the most consistency uh, was apogee and perigee. And what you will find 90% of the time is it acts as a hidden level of support or resistance. Price moves above it. Price comes back and tests it, hits it and bounces back off, boy, it's giving you a signal of short-term bullish, the ES Mini. All of my work was done, all of my studies was done on the ES Mini. I do now use that line and take a look at all four equity futures contracts, that being the Russell, the NQ, and the uh, Dow. Um, and when you put it on your screen and you start taking a look at it, you will say, how in the heck did that guy come up with that? And it was just simply I was looking for something else, and I found this instead. It's kind of as, that's why I believe life happens for you, not to you. So does that help to answer your, your question? And I would really recommend you go out and get the ES Mini. It would, if you're a short-term trader, are you a short-term trader or shorter-term type trader? I, I do pretty much all three, short, middle, and long. And uh, the short is the one I'm working on now, obviously. Then you want to use uh, Perigee and, and Apogee, especially if you, you know, you don't have to trade the equity futures. But you can make your decisions about whether it's the SPY or the triples or the doubles out there uh, based on just simply knowing where prices is at. And, and don't, you know, get it, use it, go through. You're going to get two of these um, uh, two of these aspects that happen every month. So just kind of see it with your own eyes. Don't believe a thing I tell you, although I would only tell you the truth. But see it with your own eyes, and then you'll be like, son of a gun. How how does that work? Well, I, when I take notes from your show, that's pretty much what I do is I try to prove it to myself. Uh, and this is, this is one that I have not really had much experience with at all. The astrological stuff, I have not really dived into too much. But. Sure, sure. Now, so the cool thing about that is that uh, you can even go back to a, uh, a continuous contract for the ES Mini. You'll see basically the same thing. And, and every... Apogee and perigee date and time 
exists inside the new American ephemeris out there. You you can find it. You'll see a lot of stuff on the internet that doesn't actually give you the right time. Um, I use I use uh, stuff that comes in essence from you know from planetary guys out here, and, and so I use the actual guide. But the cool thing is, once you've got access to it, you can go back and you can test it, which is what I did, and I tested thousands, thousands of uh, of these actual pivot points, and I just said. How does this work? I still ask myself that question today. How does this work out there? In any event, it works. Go check it out, and I think you'll enjoy it. Thank you very much, Steve. Appreciate it. You bet. You bet. That was Tim in Ohio. That is Apogee and Perigee. We've got.